So hi guys, let's start. Um, my name is Lior, and I'm the co-founder and VP 3D Creative at the VAI Events. And together with me is Joao Lisovic, my colleague who, who is marketing director at Triple D Illustration. Hello. In this brief session, we'll explain and present how we create a memorable experience in virtual events. So let's start. As you know, there are various virtual event solutions in the market. Some are more suitable for webinars, some of conference, some of trade show. The point is to each their own, each event that has its own goal and accordingly each can choose the best platform for that purpose. We at VI events believe that the best user experience is the one to 3D that remember in person events in the most accurate way. So that indeed can re really feel that they are uh, in the real venue, visiting different areas and can almost touch a booth or assets. We aim to create the feeling of for our attendees. Basically, I would add here that the design and the uh, look of the event is one of the most important parts of it especially when we're talking about a virtual event, when a person sees, first of all, the design and how it looks like and the atmosphere. So it's really vital to create the one that you want for your event and it's vital to make it kind of uh, connect to your values and your targets and your aims of this event. All right, so. So uh, how to create a perfect design from the idea to the final stage. Usually our clients are not really sure and are not really able to express exactly how and what they want to have in their event. I would say this this way. They have some vision, some idea in their mind uh, regarding how they want their event to look like, but it's not always very easy to extract this event, this idea and, I mean, deliver it to us as designers. That's usually what happens to most clients, even those who are professionals. They don't really know how to deliver it to us. So it's our goal, our job to talk with them and understand exactly what their vision is and to make a real design out of this vision. And that's what we're going to talk about now, I think, Lior. Yeah, thank you. The best way to start is to understand what is the customer experience we aim for. Uh, is it a business fair, a cocktail party, a pool party? It can be everything. We must understand what is the goal and accordingly create the graphics environment that will affect that in this experience. Remember, the visual experience affects events tone. So who is our client and who is the audience? It's something very important that we ask first. That's something that's common to every aspect in marketing. You first start with whom you are talking to and whom you are marketing to and whom you are talk you are trying to explain something. That's the first question that every marketer, no matter in which field you are working, will ask you. So is it a, a high-tech company with a young, young audience looking for innovation who know exactly the, how to orient themselves in virtual spaces? I want to remind you here that virtual events is something very new. Or at least most of the prospects will see it as something very new. Maybe they will be in the first event in their life when they go to your event. So this is a very important question. Uh, because it could be also, for example, a pharmaceutical or industrial company with clients, with, with prospects who are a bit technically challenged. And it's not about age. It's usually about uh, experience. It's usually about how exposed they are to technology. If those people are usually working in a specific place without using like new software, new designs, new, new interfaces, then they could be find it, they could find it challenging to use our innovative technology. So that's the first question we want to understand. Will they be able to deal and to interact with our interface? Will they understand that rooms or objects need to be clicked on? 
will they know how to orient themselves in a virtual event? So that's important because if they won't be able to orient, or if a large percentage of them will find it not easy to use our interface, then probably we have to find another solution. And we have another solution, but that's why we asked it before. We want to know if we need another option, another way to navigate in a virtual event. I just want to add, uh, it is very important, not only creating a beautiful venue, but also practical. One that is easy to easy operate and navigate, and it can be easy for anyone. So uh, for the purpose, we have, we have events have two graphic engine, 3D that is 360 degrees that allows attendees to feel that they are inside the platform and can have a look all around. I want to, sh to show this short video just to understand what we are talking about. So here we can move uh, with 360 degrees in this environment. It is very similar to Google Street View. We are clicking on these arrows and moving from one point to other. So I would say this is the, our most kind of um, beautiful way to create a virtual event because it's really it really resembles a real event. In a real event, you walk, you see other areas of your event. You can walk from one place to another. So preferably, this would be our environment. That's what we usually want. As I said, sometimes some of the prospects are not able to really be able to navigate the session environment. That's why we use sometimes another environment, another version that we all will talk about it now. Sometimes we also combine, we use both for those both types of clients. Also, uh, the second engine is 2D, which is a point and click, a straight forward navigation. And we can also combine the two solutions like you can see in our event, in a to z event. And it is very familiar to a regular website. So this option is usually easy to navigate for those who might find it hard uh, uh, using our 3D regular uh, platform. So in many cases, our clients choose to use either combined version or just a 2D version is also an option. It all depends on whom they expect to invite to the event. So how did we start working on the design for A to Z, which is our current event? I will just use it as an example to show you how our design process usually looks like and how we work. So our first step, uh, we're starting working on the design. We're creating a mood board with our customer. Together we'll look for new concepts and ideas that they can relate to. When I have work on my mood board for the A to Z virtual event, I've thought about using special concept and build my whole idea around it with the right view, colors, and functionality. Uh, the best part of my job is to visualize and execute this whole salad together into a one of a kind user friendly virtual platform, right? like you can see in our A to Z event. Many inspiration, images, and ideas are based on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and other social media that list trends as well, originals and unique ideas. We can use anything that the client and their audience can relate to and will benefit to our environment. I would add here that in this example, as you can see, it's called a mood board, as you all said. And basically, that's the way that we allow our client to show and to reflect their vision uh, for the event. We don't expect them to design and to define exactly how the event is going to look like. Just examples, yeah. Yes, we tell them, let's see some examples. Show us the pictures that you like, ideas that you like. Colors. Colors, uh, examples, whatever you want us to connect together and combine. That's what Leo and I do. Uh, we connect all those inspirations into a real event and a real design. And it makes, it's very, it makes it very easy for clients to work with us because they don't need to really design anything. Sometimes they want, 
but in many cases they just want they want just to give us the ideas and the things that they like the venues the examples the style and we combine them all together into one big design this is actually is very very important step and just you need to bring all of your ideas customer ideas to this page by the way i will add now that if you have any questions we'll have time in the end yeah right so our second step is to design our right layout. When I come to sketch the layout of the A to Z event, I draw a layout that would fit our agenda. On the one hand, uh, it needs to be simple and, and available location on the platform. On the other hand, I don't want to compri compromise on my graf graphical vision. I've determined the right size for the environment. I don't want it to be too big or too small. So you can all navigate properly to any location you want. Following our few examples of the platform we have created for our customers. Here you can see uh, the cocktail party gala area uh, for the grand opening of the Israel Association of HR Management. Uh, this is event from the last week. The event was translated to a 3D graphic experience Anyone can relate to and feel like they're right there with all the crowd listening to an international key speakers. Uh, when we're looking for new ideas, it's always important to look out of the box. We want to use something innovative and there and create a unique environment that will stay with us and will make the attendees remember us and feel it long after it has finished. So make sure, first of all, that the idea is relevant to the audience. It can be, for example, with something we'll show you soon, we use the pool scene for a student conference, which is like related and they feel, especially now under COVID circumstances, when a student sees such an environment, he really remembers how fun it was before the COVID. This is this one. This one, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the one. So it could be a, a pool party. It could be anywhere, actually. So we can uh, dare to use new colors, textures, lightning, angles, shapes. Imagine such an event, a real event in a real life would not probably have a, such a pool party. But when you talk about virtual events, that's the advantage here. We can use almost any atmosphere we want and it's acceptable because it's something that it's fun. It reflects some good ideas. Uh, so that's the power, power of virtual events. We can use almost any atmosphere we want. I just want to add the best results are often achieved when our mind is free and we're up for new adventures. So you can take every place, you can change it, you can recreate it, it's just a draft and uh, just create new new environment. Of course, original ideas are always welcome, but you can also get inspiration from anything around you. Sometimes you think this will relate more on existing trend or look and feel that will best suit your event. Uh, combining inspiration with your personal touch is also recommended. I would also add here that working with your team is usually a very important thing because uh, in our experience, it's often when a client works like with only one person who is in charge of the design, and after we create a design, somehow he has colleagues, he has managers, he has team, uh, other persons in his team, somehow have objections, have changes. So even if it's just to prevent those changes after we already finished designing, it's very important to share and to let your team members uh, be part of the design. And of course, sometimes only your team members know what is good for your event. Sometimes they know things that they don't know. Sometimes they know goals and values that they want to use and to show and reflect in their design. So it's really, really recommended to use your colleagues, team, managers as part of the design. So how did you create the A to Z virtual event avenue? I have sketched the layout according to the parameters we needed, but whole experience is not only the layout, but also the atmosphere, I mean the background, like you can see here. Have a look on this image. 
you are in the middle, uh, let's say, Spanish neighborhood and slightly changes the background and you are in the Caribbean, like you are on a great long needed vacation. Now look what happens when we implement a mount view. Uh, it's look like we are in a business summit outside the town, but look what it is important. The building is the same, but the feeling is always different. For the A to Z virtual event, I have chosen Paris background. So you will actually ask me why Paris? Apart from being such a beautiful city, I really like the Eiffel Tower. It was symbolized for me something new and different. I just want to give this event my personal touch and let all of us today feel like we're on a day of enjoy and sunny afternoon in Paris. I would say actually that this choice really combines a good uh, thing because I would say that Paris is first known for its business. business, it's a capital city, it's a financial center. On the other hand, when I was a child, this, this is the first place my parents took me on vacation and I'm thinking, I think many people, when they think about Paris, they think of good food, they think about wine, of having fun. So it's really a good combination of kind of business and pleasure together. So I really like this, this atmosphere here. All right. So the third step, uh, design the environment itself. In our environment, uh, with an inspiration from the Eiffel Tower, we try to design something, something different. Uh, it's a round table in a glass sphere that a bit reminds me of an album construction with innovation interior design over in TVs and that actually can be watched from any engine. It's like in holograms. The visual stage continues the futuristic design line with floating screens in the bright colors, uh, floating rectangles here in the right and the left on the stage. Uh, and actually our main goal in this project was to connect uh, the value to all with something more innovative and elements from future. We also feel that one of the elements that are still missing in visual events that we want to bring the gap on is a stage. It feels like a real one where you can see the speaker walk around and present their session presentation or whatever you want, just like in the real life. This is the type of uh, real uh, in person virtual uh, interaction we are looking for in this virtual event. The sponsors area, it's something that is often forgotten in the first place, but sponsors are in many events both physical events and also virtual events are usually a very important and vital part of the event because they expect to get treated well. They want their client, your clients or your prospects to be able to interact with them. So we always need to think about the design of this area. They will look at it, they will, will, be, will really uh, want to see their uh, logos, they are both Brands. really uh, visible to others. And we also want to make sure that everybody can interact with them to get, I don't know, all kinds of files to schedule a meeting with them. So this area should not be forgotten at all. It's very important and we always take care of it. And we remind our clients to think about the design of this area. This is an example of how we designed uh, the, boost, the boost area, the sponsor area, area, sponsor yeah. area of our event. Right. So our last uh, stage, <clears throat> make sure you put your customers' inputs and requests in the center. It's important to get the feedback. Uh, it's time for some final fixes and last changes. And you're in the end. That's how our event looks like after all thoughts and all the ideas coming together into one big design. And you can make other designs as well. Of course, we can always change and change, but usually the first few ideas that you have and when the few first few rounds of changes really bring us to such a, de a design that we have here today. So 
user imagination, look for solution outside the box, look for object from our daily life. It can be actually anything. This is really amazing visual world and you can create everything that our imagine is allowed for. So you want to add something? Thank you for your time Thank today. You. And we have some have some time for questions, I suppose. Yeah, we have a few, few more minutes for our question. Okay, let's see. Chat. Okay, so hello guys. How much time does it take to finish the design? And what is the difference between two and 3D engine? Okay, uh, it's a complicated <laughs> question, very, very complicated. It's very depend uh, if you're using a template event or we make some brand new event for our customer. Uh, I would say it's about, it could be almost any time you would imagine, but usually it takes between two weeks for easy kind of template. And two months. <laughs> yeah. two months, yes. Sure. So it's like how it's like to ask how much time it takes to write a book it could be almost any time, but it starts from two weeks if you want to be optimistic. So that's where we can start from. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, this event we create within, did you remember? A month, a month and a half. A little bit more than a month, yes. Yeah, time for this. Of course, we usually try to fit it to the clients and time constraints. Sometimes people mm -hmm. need an urgent event, so we tell them we don't have much time to generate, and we build something quick. But usually, the more time you have until your event, the more time we have to spend. We can spend on improving on and making design, design. Yeah. new ideas and changing. Um, we have been up there. Another, another question? No. no. Okay. So if we don't have any more questions. Um, there is another question. What is the difference between 2D and 3D engine? Yeah. Uh, so basically, I would say that the difference is the navigation, as we saw in the beginning. It's either you did navigate in a 3D, like world. a 360, like a Google Street View, or it's uh, like in a regular website. Here you can see a 2D navigation. Navigation. I will, I will, we begin our event today with a 2D navigation, and then we can you can choose if you want to have a 2D or 3D navigation. How to realize contact between the participants? Uh, I would say that in very like if you could do whatever you want, we would create your avatars walking in this event and talking to each other. It's not really technologically possible it's not today. so important actually it's also not so important but we allow you to chat either video chats or just regular chats between you you can talk to all kinds of representatives uh, inside the event so usually that's the solution you need you want to talk to other participants and you can do it you can talk to uh, representatives of any kind on the round tables um, with the sponsors so it's something we deal with and you can uh, do those talks, sometimes using Zoom, sometimes using our own web uh, chat. On the video chat, yeah. So it's all possible. Uh, of course, it's a bit different from, from, from real event, but it's really, really close and it really allows you, gives you the functionality of being able to talk to each other. Okay, so if we have no more questions, we can finish now. So thank you guys. It was a pleasure for me. And see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.